All right, today I'll make you take it outdoors. We're gonna make an ultralight inline spinner and go after some uh, bluegill and sunfish. Stay tuned. making an ultralight inline spinner and this is gonna be a quick build um, so we're gonna start off yep you guessed it a closed loop I didn't close it all the way down because what I'm going to also add is a swivel in the loop to help out with uh, line twists and everything. If I can get the swivel off the hook, there we go. All right, so the swivel is just going to slide right on there. We're going to take our pliers to close up the loop. Actually, I'm going to do it from this side because that's what I'm used to. And make sure I hold on to the tag because obviously my grandson plays out here I'm not sure if you can if it's showing the uh, playground stuff all right I wish I had a smaller clevis but I don't so hopefully this won't be too big to impede the uh, action of the blade what I've got is a uh, small French blade I think it's a number two and you want to hang it so the bulge is away from the shaft please don't and it slides on there like that next we use a uh, couple round beads for bearings Also gives a little separation from the uh, there go. body and the body. And this is the first time I've tried this. Um, as I made used a uh, hematite. Come off there. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it while I get this off. All right, we're back. Sorry. Um, so I've got these hematite beads. These are six millimeter, I believe. And they all kind of stuck together when I uh, baked them. So it's not perfect, but hey, nothing I ever do really is. All right, so I always leave a little bit of space on the end lines. So about like that. Um, I don't know why, I just always have, and that's I've caught tons of fish, so I don't think it really matters much. But now, all we have to do is end this up, finish this up with a, uh, as you probably guessed, a closed loop. So, not very closed not very good because I don't have much tag there all right so we slide a little treble on it's I think a number 12 and I wish I had some smaller hooks single hooks because I don't like using the these real tiny trebles I'm sorry this is really hard to see the screen in the uh, sunlight, so I'm kind of doing a lot of guesswork here. All right, let me trim that off. 
dropped my wire, uh, my wire cutters. All right, so there you have it. Um, can you see it? There we go. I get a lot of hits on my little inline spinners from a panfish, but the trouble is these usually have like a six or an eight treble hook on them, and they're hard to see. So, not the hard to see, but hard to get in their mouth. So hopefully uh, number 12 will uh, lead to some more hookups. Another nice one, babe. Oh, hey, I think I finally got a decent one. There we go. You nice. I don't think so. It had to be nine inches. And since I, you know, forgot my measuring device, there you go. All right, there you have it. Caught a few. So if you like videos like this, please hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, hope you're getting through this uh, pandemic okay. In the meantime, tight lines.